Hello everyone, this is Flatline, and today I'm going to be doing a PvP video. And I'm going to be going over the One Gate Expand in PvP. So this is a pretty um, trending build lately. It was displayed by State and the Shoutcraft America against Minigun. And uh, you're going to see this quite a bit from a lot of Protoss players on ladder if you're like Masters, High Masters. You'll see them try to execute this build so if you are in lower league you could try doing this. But it is I would say a little bit harder to pull off for you than it would be for you know High Masters or so obviously because they, ha they can execute a little bit better and more crisp. But we're just times to it. Basically, your first four chrono boosts will be us used on probes. I'm gonna go with a 13 gateway and 14 gas. And then 16 pylon. Three guys in your gas immediately. Let me get your uh, cyber at 18, get an 18 assimilator. Now I'm not scouting because it's a 4 player map. If it's a 2 player map you do scout with the pro that makes a cyber. Because on 2 player maps you know exactly where they spawn. So you can kind of like get in their base before a stalker or anything comes out that can actually take out your probe. I mean, they can have a zealot but the zealot shouldn't be able to kill your probe. Gonna put guys and gas immediately. Uh, you saw I was queuing up a zealot at once. This is just because if he does proxy, if he's at like a hacker or whatnot on the whirlwind, and he proxy gates, at least I have a zealot on the way and I should be fine. But you can cancel it, get your pylon, um, should be right at there. You have three guys and gas, you should be able to afford it. And chrono boost out that sentry, get the work gate started, get another sentry started. And then you should be sending a probe. Right when you start this sentry, you should send out a probe. And you can make this uh, nexus. Once you have 16 on the minerals, you stop uh, making probes and get your mothership out. On the four player map, you do have that probe that makes the nexus scout. And here comes his probes. After the mothership core, the next hunter gas will be invested into the robotics. Get your gateway as well. And get your pylon as well. Dandy. Now you can resume with uh, some probes. And get your sentry out as well. So I know he spawned on the bottom right. He's actually going to be going for a stargate build. It looks like he's going to go for an all in. With three gates. Did he see that I fast expand? Yes, yeah, so he knows I fast expanded, so. His response is to go for Phoenixes. That's cool. Um, you should be able to hallucinate. Once you're able to hallucinate a Phoenix, you hallucinate and send it straight to his base. You want to see if he's, uh, or what he's doing. Now I went with an observer because I saw uh, the sentries and the two sentries in the zealot so I know he's not going to be going blink stalkers. If he had gone blink stalkers then I would have made an immortal or if I don't know then I would made would have made an immortal on the way but by the time if he is going DTs I would cancel and make an observer essentially. A little preemptive by me, unfortunately. I'm gonna go up to four gates. Uh, two stalkers inside the main. This is just a good amount of stalkers to deal with any kind of oracle. I know he's going stargates and I saw the phoenixes, but you do not know 100% sure if he's gonna stay on phoenixes or whatnot. 
So killing just one uh, probe is not the biggest deal. I'd be sending another hallucinated phoenix because he did snipe off a probe so I'm not exactly sure if he's all landing or not but I do see that he, he does have quite a bit of units in front of my base. Now when you're dealing with Stargate, this is one thing you want to do uh, when you're, you know, when you get weight expand, have your army behind the Nexus. Look how hard it is for his zealous to actually deal with my army. It's gonna be really hard for him to actually get in this choke point. And my probes pulled, put them on hold. And look at the zealots, they're not really connecting too much in battle. You see a lot of these, this is about three zealots just running around behind, not really doing anything for him. And this engagement is way in my favor right now. And yeah, that should be pretty much game at this point. Now, I don't really recommend this build, one gate expand on maps like Akalon Waste, where the natural is built a little bit weird because like what I mean is like the ramp when you put the photon overcharge you need the photon overcharge by the way when you're dealing with an all-in um, when you put that photon overcharge they can kind of like bypass the photon overcharge go up your ramp and you know engage of course you have force fields but if they have blink stalkers then the blink stalkers can just negate that with the mothership core with the vision you can blink up top in the main whereas on this map you can't really do that he, you have to go through the natural, there's a spot right here where you can blink into here but you have to shift the blink and you don't really want to do that when you're all inning. But yeah so this build is pretty good. If you do want the build I did put it in my replay pack which I can link you as well. Um, you can follow me on my group in the NA server which is flatline, that's it. Right there you can see anything coming up um, related to me or anything like that. All that kind of jazz. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel if you do like what you see. And yeah, if you have any comments or anything that uh, you want me to answer, you could either put it in the comments or you could tweet at me on Twitter at twitter.com slash flatline se2 if you do have twitter and you do that kind of jazz but yeah anyways guys thanks for watching and i'll see you later